Hey guys, StarTart here, and welcome to a long-awaited model railroad review, one that I've been waiting to do for, well, a very, very long time. So ever since Bachman released their DCC sound value locomotives um, in the NS Heritage paints, I have wanted to get the nickel plate road, even though it's, uh, even though it doesn't have operational ditch lights, it has pretty much everything else. I mean, it has the basic sound functions like the horn, the bell, the prime mover, the dynamic brake, all that. So it's got, let's see here. So it says it is equipped with digital technology for sound speed direction and lighting control. And it has, and it is a sound by the prototype programming on the main track, speed control, die cast chassis and couplers that I will be replacing with, uh, the KD couplers. Um, if I have to, which I don't think I will. Yeah, no, I don't, ha I won't have to do that. So, I'm very excited to do this review, guys. And, uh, without any further ado, let's get into this thing. So, it opens like any other Bachman product would, like this. And then it comes in this cool double casing. So, like this. So then you want to place the locomotive like this, place it like that, place it vertical. You want to pop this guy up, you want to pop that up, and then it unfolds like that. You want to, you want to open this, and it will unfold like that. So then we take the locomotive out of the casing, and let's put it on the carpet so that we can uh, get a better grip on it. And already I can tell that it has a nice weight to it. It is lighter than my uh, Atherin ready to roll locomotive. But, it, I mean, no, it is heavier. Excuse me. It is heavier than my Atherin ready to roll uh, Dash 9. Um, quite a bit heavier, actually. I'd say about twice as heavy. And you can see here it has all the cool details. It has windshield wipers. It has the grabs. It has the MU hoses, it has the train line hoses, it has the brake wheel on the rear, has all the necessary hoses, it has non-operational ditch lights, which makes me a little sad, but that's, that's a very small gripe. And yeah, I'm going to have to replace these couplers with uh, the KDs or the magnetic ones with the real metal ones. But as you can see, it's got stunning detail on everything. Real nice detail there. Pretty sure that's a uh, micro writing. 8100 nickel plate road. It's embossed, so it stands up a little bit, which is really cool. It's got nice fan grills. Nice uh, old old uh, array. No PTC on this one. Uh, might not going to be able to change that unfortunately so i guess it's for the better considering psr you know um but in which case uh, it's got nice detailing really nice weight to it very very pretty engine it's my favorite heritage unit um of of all 20 so uh very very happy to have this locomotive so let's put it on the track it comes factory address three And already you can see that the sound comes on. The sound comes on instantly when you put it on the track. So uh, let's reverse it. And let's test out some of the features. It is it is a factory address three, so I turn up the throttle and you can see that it moves. And let's test some of the features. So, I believe 8 is the mute. Let's turn that back on. 10 is the lights, the headlight. Really dim there. It's pretty dim in comparison to my other locomotive, which is not online right now, but it is comparatively dim. Uh, no LED lighting there. I believe that's incandescent. Uh, if we make the locomotive go forward a little bit ways.
and look at the back headlight. You can see that when the engine headlight is on, the rear headlight is also turned on for some odd reason, so I'm probably just going to remove that. But when you reverse the locomotive, the rear headlight comes on, and the forward headlight stays dim. And then if we go to the, the third function, that's the short horn. The fourth function has the dynamic brake. You can hear it go in there. And then the second function is the horn. And the first function is the bell. So, pretty decent sound quality there. Um, it does have an accurate horn. It does have an accurate bell. Really nice. And the functions do not work if the sound is muted, unlike the Broadway Limited locomotives. So, that's something to note that uh, when these locomotives are muted, everything is off. The same applies with uh, my Atherin Genesis. If the sound is complete, if the sound mute is off, then all the sound functions turn off. Unlike the Broadway Limited again, where you can mute the sound but still keep the horn and the bell, which is really cool. But other than that, this locomotive moves really nice. It seems to accelerate at about the same pace as my Atherin Genesis one, uh, the Illinois Terminal that you see there, and it runs really quietly it's very nice so again we'll uh we'll run it it's really really whisper silent when it's uh when it's not on when it's not actually when the sound is off and yeah it's really nice so this was a great engine to review and a great engine to buy msrp is uh, about 150 dollars though stores are selling them for like 200 or 300 to make profit um, but online you can get these for $150 to $180 and on train world, which is where I got this one from, you can get them for a hundred dollars, which is really, that's a really good bargain for a locomotive as detailed as this one. And I'm just going to use this one as a trailing partner to my Illinois terminal. So all in all, this was a really good buy and I'm very impressed with the quality despite it only having very limited sound features. So all in all, very good locomotive for its cost of only $100. So yeah, I'd recommend this one. So thanks for watching the video, guys. And I'll definitely post, I'll definitely post a video of the locomotive on the layout so that you guys can see it running. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And I'll see you all around.